Hey guys, what's up? My name is Gracie. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. It has been a hot second since I have posted a video. I'm so sorry if any of you guys are waiting for me to post a video. I have not been in a very creative mood these past few weeks and months really at this point. But I'm finally back on my grind and I want to start posting more videos. So with that being said, today I'm going to be filming a favorites video. Um, quarantine edition, I guess you could say. It's going to be um, some of my favorite things I've purchased during this quarantine. I have a good bit of stuff to show you guys today. All of these products and items I am obsessed with and I love. And I'm really happy that I purchased them during this time. Anyways, let's just go ahead and get right into the video. So the first thing that I'm going to start off with is my... MacBook Pro. I talked about this in my last video that I had just gotten it. Um, so actually I think it was two videos ago. Yeah, two videos ago I got a MacBook Pro. This is the 2019 um, MacBook with the touch bar and this is my all-time favorite purchase probably ever. Honestly, I am super happy with this purchase. I actually bought it from my brother um, because he he had gotten it like a few weeks back and didn't really use it and he's not going to use a Mac for his job. He just graduated college this year. So he actually sold it to me for a lot cheaper than he bought it for. So I'm really grateful for that. I have honestly always wanted a MacBook like for as long as I can remember. So I'm so happy to finally have one. It has just improved my computer experience exponentially so I'm super happy with this purchase and I use my MacBook just about every single day so I would say this was a great purchase. Um, my next favorite purchase is going to be my Kindle. This I don't know what exact like model this is but this was like the cheapest one on Amazon and it's like not like the Oasis or anything. I think it's like paper white. I don't know but I need to get a case for it for one but it's kind of like sandy because I've been taking it to the beach this summer but yeah this Kindle is amazing I totally recommend getting a Kindle because it just makes reading so much easier at least for me I do still read regular books but I find that I read books a lot faster and I stay interested in books a lot better and easier whenever I am reading on my Kindle I bought this on Amazon at the beginning of summer and I'm really happy with this purchase I've gotten a lot of use out of it and yeah Love this guy. Totally recommend it. My next purchase is kind of a little bit more random, but just kind of like a fun quarantine hobby that I've been loving. So I actually went to Michael's and bought this like watercolor set. Um, I know that's like really, really random, but it's very therapeutic for me. So I bought this watercolor set and this sketch. It's like watercolor paper. Um, and I just do like sketches on there. I've been doing like Enneagram sketches and... Disney World essentials and like little things like that and just having fun with the watercolors. So I would definitely recommend watercolors if you are kind of a little bit crafty but want to but don't like trust yourself completely with like regular paint. And this is super nice because it just stays in this little packet. It was super cheap and it's got a lot of nice vibrant colors in it. Whoa, I just broke it. Hopefully that will go back on. Now I've gotten a lot of good use out of this. It's really fun to do with your friends as well. So definitely go get you some watercolors. So the next items kind of go together. They are my Sol de Janeiro products. So these are kind of on the pricier side. Let's see, I'll show you what I have. First, this is literally my all time favorite chapstick. It is called Brazilian Kiss by Sol de Janeiro and it looks like this. It kind of reminds me of a sunscreen because you can see like how big the actual like thing is like it's huge I wish it would focus you can see like how big this applicator is it's literally huge but I love it I'm gonna put this on right now <laughs> it smells so good all the Sol de Janeiro products smell so good and that's the whole reason that I got I have them but I've had the mini version of this before this is the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian bum bum cream it's like a lotion See, it opens like this, and there's lotion in there. And I've had the mini one of this before because I don't know if you guys watch Rachel Radke on YouTube, but I'm obsessed with her videos. She's probably she's probably been my favorite YouTuber for like a hot second now. Um, I've been watching her for as long as she's ever had a YouTube channel. So definitely go subscribe to her because she is awesome and gives great recommendations. Um, but yeah, all of these products smell so good. They smell like, um, let's see, they smell like... 
coconut and vanilla like mixed together it's just the best scent ever if you've not tried sol de janeiro go get you like the little sample of this bum bum cream i ran out of that so i went and got the bigger version and then I, I had never tried this before but this is the brazilian crush like body spray and i bought this because i don't know it just smells so good it smells just like everything else and i spray it on me it's just a good light scent it's not too overpowering and yeah so this trio is the absolute best um you can get it at sephora that's where i got all of these items um so yeah go check out sol de janeiro it's one of my favorite things i'm also going to have all these items linked below so if you want to online shop for any of these items or check any of them out go to the link in the description down below the next thing that i'm going to share with you guys are these glossier or glossy i think it's glossier um bomb.com chapsticks as you can see here um so i wanted to order these because i've heard people rave about these and i just wanted to try them out so the three cents that i got are the birthday bomb.com which is like the most hyped one and which that's the one that everyone always gets so i wanted to try that one i got the berry bomb.com which this one's tinted so it has like a little purpley pinkish tint which i like to wear sometimes and then i got the coconut bomb.com which, as we've been known, I really like things that smell like coconut, hence all of the Sol de Janeiro products I just showed you guys. So, I really love all of these. My favorites are probably, I think my favorite is honestly the coconut, and then the birthday one is awesome. It smells like birthday cake. It actually smells really good. This one's been tucked away in my backpack for a while, so I haven't been using this one as much. But I use the coconut one all the time. I keep the coconut and the Brazilian Kiss in my car usually. And then I usually bring in the Brazilian Kiss at night to like have before I go to sleep. Um, but yeah, so love these. Highly recommend these. Okay, so the next things I'm going to go into are like clothes and shoes and apparel. The first pair of shoes I'm going to show you are these Ugg slippers uh, that I purchased. Um, I purchased these at the beginning of quarantine and I use them almost every single day. When I wake up, I just put them on and I wear them all day if I'm just like lounging around the house. They're so comfortable. Um, and yeah, I love these Ugg slippers. They're a little bit pricier. They were like, I don't know, a hundred dollars ish maybe, but definitely worth the investment. I really like them and would definitely purchase again. So yeah, go get you a pair of Ugg slippers. They're great. I wear them all the time. Next up, I want to show you these Chacos that I bought. So I really, really enjoy Chacos. I got my first pair of Chacos when I was in the seventh grade and I wore those out. Like I still wore those up until the day that I got these. So I wore those for how many years is that? Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, like six or seven years I wore those. So I definitely wore those out. So I wanted to upgrade and get this pair, I really like the Chacos that don't have the like toe strap that just, they're just a lot more comfortable in my opinion. And these were on sale at Nordstrom Rack. I will try and link these. I'm not sure if they're still selling them on Nordstrom Rack because I did get them like two or three months ago. But I do really love the Chacos. These are probably like my go-to sandal. Um, I don't know. I don't really like dressing up a lot. So mostly all I wear are like a t-shirt shorts and my Chacos or tennis shoes or my Birkenstocks. So yeah, big Chaco gal, love these. Next up, I actually haven't worn these shoes yet because they're a little bit small and I was planning on sending them back like this whole entire time, but I just found out that I am past the date that I was able to send them back. So I think I'm just gonna wear them. These are also Chacos, but they're like a little bit different style. So these are kind of like a foamy like slide material, but as you can see, it has like the Chaco straps and like Chaco band right here. So they look like this. These are actually the men's, but I just ordered them in, well, I thought I ordered them in my size, but I guess I ordered a little bit too small of a size. Um, but yeah, so these like still have the tags on them, but I'm going to try and wear them because I literally love them. Like I'm obsessed with how they look and obsessed with the colors. So I think I'm just gonna try and wear them even though they're a little bit too small for me. But I really do love these and these are called, um, Chaco Chilos, but they don't have these this like color combination anymore because I want to order a pair that fits me But I really like the patchwork. They're called they were called like 
Choco Patchwork. Um, but I can't find them on the website anymore, so I guess I took them off. But they do have like solid color ones, but I just love the colors on these. But yeah, I'm going to try and start wearing them because I haven't worn them yet and I've had them since March. The next pair of shoes I'm going to show you, I just recently got. These are ASIC, ASIC tennis shoes. These were honestly really, really cheap. They were like $50, I believe. But I just needed a good pair of tennis shoes to wear if I'm like running errands with some shorts on and stuff like that because the only other pair of tennis shoes I had were like trashed and I just did not really like them. So I just needed something quick and I got these from Dix. These are the Asics Gel Venture 7s. So yeah, they're like $50. Not bad at all. They're super comfortable. Don't hurt my feet. I can keep them on for hours. So highly recommend these. I am wanting to get a good pair of running shoes in within the next month or so because I do want to start going to the gym and doing stuff like that, walking and running. And I probably could use these, but I want some like actual running shoes. So I've been looking into Hoka's and Brooks and also Asics. So we'll, I'm going to go try some on within the next few weeks or so and buy a good pair of running shoes. But for now, these work perfectly. The next pair of shoes I actually don't have in my room. I'm pretty sure they're in my car, but I just recently got these and I'm obsessed with them. So they're called the Nike Blazers. They're like retro looking high tops. Um, I'll insert a picture here because I wore them the other day and posted a Instagram story in them. So I'll put a picture here um, and I'm obsessed with them. I just barely got them. They were on sale on Nike's website and these are the exact ones I wanted. They were, they have like the gold um, swoosh and they were like the only pair that was actually on sale too. So they're normally like a hundred something, but I got them for like 70, I believe. So that was a really good deal and I was super excited to find that they were um, on sale online. Next up are all of my hats that I've purchased during quarantine. Um, I'm obsessed with like flat bill hats. If you guys follow my Instagram, you probably know this, but I love hats that have this like flat bill right here for some reason. I don't know. I just think they're cuter and more flattering on me than like hats that the bill are like folded like baseball hats and stuff. So this is the first pair that I got that I really, really like. This is from um, He Would Love First. It's like a Christian apparel line. This is just a green like corduroy hat and I'm obsessed with it. It's like nice and what's the word malleable. So it's not super stiff and I just can throw this on with a t-shirt or like if I'm at the lake I wear this a lot because it's not it's pretty breathable even though it's corduroy and yeah this is on my Instagram all the time. I'm obsessed with it. If I could only have one hat for the rest of my life it would be this hat. I just love it so much. Next up is my 7up hat or my diet 7up hat. I got this from Snag and Stitch. It's a Instagram account and they also have a website where I believe this one they they made it like Snag and Stitch made it but they usually sell hats that are vintage that they found and they resell them so they're super like one of a kind items but I fell in love with this diet 7 up hat it's more of like a boys hat so I only wear it if I'm like bumming it with like a t-shirt and shorts and stuff but I really like this one it's got like a white rope right here super vintage looking this is kind of my style these days wearing hats and stuff like this this one definitely messed my hair up but yeah, I love this hat, Diet 7 Up, super cute and retro, vintage looking, so love this. This next hat is another same deal, flat bill. I don't love this one as much because it's 100% a men's hat, like you can tell. Um, and it's got a super, I don't know what this is called, like the base front of this is super long. So it looks a little weird on me, but this one is from Howler, Bro Howler Brothers, I believe. Um... Yeah, I don't love this one on me. I like it if I'm like wearing my hair up and I like pull some pieces down. I'm trying to like look in the viewfinder. Then it's pretty cool. Like this would be cool like, if I was going fishing or something like that. Something outdoorsy where I just wanted to throw a hat on. Goodness. My hair now. <laughs> um, but yeah, I really like all of these hats that I got. I definitely wear this green one a lot more than the rest. So... The next item are my Patagonia shorts. I had never owned a pair of Patagonia shorts before quarantine, but I decided to order a pair and try them out because I really don't like Nike shorts for some reason. I just don't like the way they fit and I just don't really like them. Like they're okay, but all the pairs I do have are too big on me. So I wanted some shorts that are like 
nice I can wear it all the time if I was like going hiking or just going to the store running errands these are super nice and I'm excited to have these when I go back to Disney World in the future because these are perfect park shorts because they're a little bit longer on your legs so your legs aren't like rubbing together and like you're not dying but I the first pair that I ordered were these orange Patagonia shorts they're just like a burnt orange color and they have like greenish blue detailing but I'm obsessed with them these uh, Patagonia shorts they're super cute and because I was so obsessed with them and wore them all the time I ended up buying three more pairs so now I have four pairs I got a black pair uh, let's see where the front is I got a black pair and a blue pair right here oh that's the back right there and this like printed yellow pair that has like flowers on them so yeah i'm obsessed with my patagonia shorts they're literally the only shorts i wear now so definitely recommend patagonia shorts the next thing are these necklaces these i actually have another one that it didn't come in this set but it's from the same brand but this is called the parker set from georgiana and this was another rachel radke recommendation and i just had to bite the bullet they're a little bit pricier i don't remember how much this set was but i'll link it in the description so you guys can try and find them but they look like this there's this like chain one that clips in the front and like you're supposed to keep this in the front and then there's this dog tag like tennis chain looking necklace and i like to wear them together just with like a something like this like a t-shirt or um a dress i honestly wear these all the time they're like my go-to i try and keep at least one of them on at all times so yeah i'm obsessed with these and the last things i'm going to show you are these bathing suits that i bought for this summer and i love all of them and they all come from very sustainable brands they're a little bit pricier but i know i'm gonna have these for a bunch of summers to come so i'm super excited about these purchases and i'll start with the swimsuits i got from lime and ricky i'll have them linked below they're very size inclusive which i love i think they come in sizes from extra small all the way up to 4x i believe so very um inclusive for all sizes so the first item that i got is this burnt orange swim top it's got like a peplum it's like a tankini kind of but it's super flattering and modest i'll enter a picture of me wearing it on the screen but it just looks like this and it's got this like wrap detailing and it's a little bit off the shoulder and then i love like the peplum design and i got i get a lot of compliments on this one when i wear it so i'm obsessed with this one i think it's really flattering on my body type like i said i'll put up a picture of me wearing it but yeah this one's from lime and ricky next from lime and ricky is this one piece it looks like this it has like flower petals on it and i love the coloring that's in it and it's super flattering and then also has this like wrap tie that goes in the front i'll just put up a picture of it because it's kind of hard to describe but this one is super cute and flattering i love wearing this one um like if i'm not feeling too great that day i'll put this one on and i just think it's super super cute it's really good material super thick all of these are um yeah check out lime and ricky i love their bathing suits i'll for sure be ordering more next summer probably because they come out with different designs all of the time so go check lime and ricky out next this bathing suit is from the brand courtney jean um i had definitely heard of courtney jean before i know some of my friends um like last summer had some of their bathing suits and they're a little bit pricier but i actually got the i actually got this um bathing suit when it was on sale so first up i got this top kind of the same idea it's like a baby pink top and it has like peplum detailing on the bottom and this is called their scoop back top so it has like a scoop back as you can see but and the material is actually ribbed i don't know if you can see that but the material is ribbed and it's super super cute i actually don't have a picture of me wearing this one yet um but i really love this one and then i got these bottoms to go with it i love these bottoms they have um this is the front yeah they have rainbows on them. They're high-waisted bathing suits. They're high-waisted bathing suit bottoms. And they have rainbows on them. They're really, really cute. And then they have this like line detailing, as you can see, going down the front of them. I love the colors. 
and it matches the top very nicely but anyways that is going to be it for this quarantine favorites video I hope you guys enjoyed um, I'm definitely gonna try and keep posting as much as possible I'm definitely gonna get into posting more of my Disney college pro program videos but I wanted to kind of throw this in there because I've been wanting to film this video for a while so here you are here's the video anyways I will see you guys in my next video thank you guys so much for watching bye guys <laughs>